Hi, this is Mike Lally of Know Your Mind. Welcome to part five of how to coach with emotional intelligence. In the previous part, we looked at questions that can empower people. And this is achieved by building positive presuppositions into your coaching questions. Now, questions can be very powerful. And to make the best use of them, it pays to be really meticulous, be very precise. See, well-constructed, well-directed and emotionally based questions can alter the thinking and the state of the person you are coaching. Look at these two examples of questions and see which you prefer. If you manage to get this goal, what will it achieve? When you manage to get this goal, what will it achieve? Now the first question begins with if, so it presupposes that the person may not get the goal. The second question is much better because it presupposes the person will get the goal. This simple example shows how precise you need to be when asking some questions. A useful process for asking questions has a what, how, when structure. And this is an excellent structure because when you begin questioning with what, it sets the agenda and points directly at the goal. So what is the problem? What is important to you? Now, how questions refers to the means by which you will achieve the goal. So, how exactly do you intend to pursue this goal? And how will you get the resources that you need? Now, when questions, of course, introduce the critical element of time. So, when will you get started? And when shall we meet again so we can discuss your progress? What do you want? How will you know when you've got it? When should the first deliverable be completed? Just be aware that by asking questions, you are assuming a form of control over the thought processes of the other person. But this permits you to direct their attention by asking the right questions. And the use of precision is essential because it is quite possible to influence a person and how they will answer a question by leading them intentionally or even unintentionally. So the words used can have a subtle but profound effect on the way a person will respond. Now, for example, how fast was the car travelling generally gets a radically different response to at what speed was the car travelling. So the first statement tries to engineer, tries to force agreement along the lines of, you know the car was travelling too fast, admit it. So by asking questions in a certain way, you can receive the answer that you want. Now we have to watch for inadvertent use of leading questions. Now this is done by tacking a phrase such as isn't it, won't you, can't you and so on at the end of a sentence. So this makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Now let me state the obvious. Most of us want to be happy, successful, healthy and wealthy, don't we? Now these feelings are universal emotional hooks. And we want to make sure that we tap into this kind of emotional need when we ask questions because we will always get a positive response. So the skillful use of questions presented with strong emotional appeal can be really uplifting and get a person to accept your point of view, take positive action and move towards the goal. So the point to keep in mind is by asking the right questions, you can control the situation. And then you can aim for a win-win outcome. So that completes part five. Thanks so much for watching. Hope to be with you again very soon with part six. In the meantime, please take care, look after yourself, and remember, you have many faces. Let's put them to use. Let's think about how we ask questions. So cheerio for now. Look forward to speaking to you again very, very soon. Bye.